Welcome to Electron Online. Here's the same problem we did in the previous video, but now we're also going to calculate the velocity at the top. Remember, we had a rolling ball rolling up the incline. Notice that the kinetic energy at the bottom of the incline was it had 400 joules of translational kinetic energy, 160 joules of rotational kinetic energy. By the time it got to the top, the translational kinetic energy had dropped to 260 joules. The rotational kinetic energy had dropped to 104 joules, and now it had 196 joules of potential energy by gaining 10 meters. But now we're going to use the same equation, the initial energy equals the energy at the top, to find the velocity at the top. So at the bottom we have both translational and, kinetic and rotational kinetic energy. At the top we have translational, rotational kinetic energy, and potential energy at the top. The equations for that are one-half mv initial squared plus one-half i omega initial squared. For rotational kinetic energy, we use i, moment of inertia, and omega, the angular velocity. And this equals the kinetic energy transla translational at the top, which is one-half mv at the top squared, which is what we're looking for, plus one-half i omega initial squared at the top, oh, I shouldn't say initial, this is omega at the top squared, plus mgh. Now we're going to substitute for i and omega, what those are equal to, since it's a solid ball, we get one-half v initial squared, plus one-half times the moment of inertia of a solid ball is two-fifths mr squared, and remember the relationship between v and omega, Omega is V over R, so here Omega initial squared becomes V initial squared over R squared. And now right away you can see that the R squares cancel out. This equals on the right side, one half MV at the top squared, which is what we're looking for, plus one half times, again, the moment of inertia of a solid ball is two fifths MR squared, and Omega at the top will be oh, not Omega, but v at the top squared divided by r squared. And again, the r squares cancel out, and then we still have the mgh, we have the potential energy when we reach the top. Combining the terms right here, because now we can see that we have 1 half mv initial squared plus 2 fifths times 1 half, we cancel out the 2's, and we end up with 1 half mv initial squared plus one-fifth mv initial squared equals one-half mv at the top squared plus, and again the twos cancel out, one-fifth mv at the top squared plus mgh. Now we can combine those terms, one-half plus one-fifth, that would be five-tenths plus two-tenths or seven-tenths, so we get seven-tenths mv initial squared equals 7 tenths mv at the top squared plus the mgh from the potential energy. Since we're looking for v at the top, notice we can cancel out the masses. Every term has an m in it, so we can cancel that out. And then to get rid of the 7 tenths, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 10 sevenths. So we're going to multiply the left side of the equation now let's move the equal sign over a little bit by 10 over 7, and we're going to do the same to the right side equation, 10 over 7. When we do that, let's move over to the right side of the board right here. Then we end up with v initial squared. v initial squared equals v at the top squared plus, we're left with 10 over 7 g times h. And finally, we can solve this for v at the top squared. So v at the top squared is equal to v initial squared, moving this to the other side, turning the equation around, minus 10 over 7 gh. And finally, v at the top is equal to the square root of v initial squared minus 10 over 7 times gh. Now when we plug in the numbers, we can solve for v at the top. This is equal to the square root of v initial, which is 20 meters per second squared, minus 10 over 7, g is 9.8 meters per second squared, and h is 10 meters. So finally, v at the top is going to be equal to, and for that we need a calculator, 
So we end up with uh, 400 minus, that's uh, 900 minus a quantity, that would be 98, 980 divided by 7 equals, that would be equal to the square root of 260. And if we take the square root of that, we get 16.1 meters per second, which is the velocity when the ball reaches the top. So notice that it started out at 20 meters per second at the bottom, and it slowed down to 16.1 meters per second when it reaches the top. And that's how we do that.